Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing some more real-time scrapbooking with you because lockdown equals longer videos. So I hope you're all doing well in the UK. It is day seven, I think, yes, of lockdown. It's Monday to 30th today. Anyways, I am going to be scrapbooking these pictures, which I shall talk about in a bit, and using the Simple Story, Simple Vintage Garden District collection. Um, there's some I am at the top there just because I'm keeping them in the same container. I've also cut these guys on my silhouette. This is a Paige Evans cut file. I think it was one of her free ones that she has in her Facebook group. It was like a joined up one like this, but because I have a silhouette portrait rather than a cameo, I have to be a bit more creative in how I cut cut files. So there's those two fiddly bits there. And I will start off by choosing papers and stuff. I'm just gonna put the I am stuff out the way for now. I might bring it in later on because some of it kind of matches quite nicely with this collection. But for now, I just kind of want to get it out my way so I can concentrate. What is, oh, I wonder where that was. I must've like packed it into this box when I was clearing my desk. Oh, what a silly sausage, right. All sorts of bits, washi tape, ephemera. Just need to get to the papers, come here. Right, here we go. I might need not even, blah, blah, blah. I might not even use one of these papers as a backing. I might go with a white background. Oh my goodness, must not break the cut files. Ah, they're very fiddly, eep. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I might not go with one of these papers as the background, but we'll see. I don't want to use that because obviously I want to use that as a wreath based layout. I kind of want those butterflies to fussy cut. I'm so torn between those. Those are so gorgeous. Um, yeah, I want a slightly plainer one because it's going to be really busy with this fiddly cut file. Just trying to make sure I've got it the right way round. I think it's that way. Yeah, that's not really showing up on there. Obviously, I'm going to back the cut file and I have another plan for it as well. This one might be good. I need them to stop getting tangled up with each other. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this one is a potential. I think they're supposed to go the other way like this, maybe. I don't know. Okay, that's going in the potential pile. Oh, I like that though, but it's got birds on it and my layout isn't bird themed whatsoever. So yeah, maybe not Let's put that over there. Mm, maybe, oops, oh please, oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Nah, I don't know. I'm not really a gingham girl in general. It's not really my kind of thing. That's too busy. And I think everything else is cut apart so really we've only got one option unless I go with either a white background or I do have last year's simple vintage something or other botanicals which I might actually get that out and just have a look just to see if any of those papers will work as well because the collections are frankly quite similar. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm standing up so my voice might be a bit louder because it's closer to the camera. May keep that aside for butterfly fuzzy cutting purposes. And get this tangle. That works quite well, actually. You see how similar they are? Like you'd think they're in the same collection. I'm not complaining because I just love them both, but I don't know, it does maybe stand out a little bit better on that one. What do we think? Hmm. I do not know. Let's just flick through some more. That's the cover sheet. That's, oh, I like this one. It's on the back of there. Oh, the back's so pretty as well. Where's my photos? That works quite well as well. Oh, I am so torn. Okay, I think I am gonna go with this one from Vintage Botanicals, partly because I've got two of these as well, which kind of encourages me more to use it. This one is paid, it's called Everyday Bliss. Right, I'm gonna put my Vintage Botanicals out of the way because I put them on my chair and can't sit down. 
and my desk is already in a state of absolute chaos let's put the i am stuff over here so my plan is with these cut files if i can figure out which way around they go i think i'm trying to remember how i cut them to i think it's like no because then they face the same way it must be this way yes Okay, yeah, what I'm going to do with these, I've just noticed a little sort of bit that didn't cut very well at the top here, so I'm going to fix that, is back each butterfly, which will obviously take some time, so I will not talk to you throughout the whole process. And then I thought what I'd do is, where's that butterfly sheet gone? There we go. These are a better size for this plan. Um... But I really like that side. Oh, torn. Um, is then put little butterflies on top of each butterfly, what like with the wings folded up to make it a little bit more 3D and stuff. Not maybe every single butterfly, but just a few of them. I do think that would be the better one to do it on, just because they're a better size. But these are a better shape. You know what I mean? With the slightly more pointy wings, I suppose you could call it. Anyway, but starting off. Um, I'll do some backing of this. So what am I going to back it with? I've just realised I don't have a 6x6 six six paper pad with this collection. Okay, I've gone back to Vintage Botanicals where I have the 6x6 six six paper pad. I've got some scraps here from that collection. I also just noticed these in my general scrap bin, which I think can work. So what we start off doing now is the long, very tedious process of backing a cut file literally the most tedious thing in the entire world so the way I prefer to do it is trace around the outside of the shape like this oh I'm not very good at talking and doing this at the same time no I am not and then when I cut the shape I cut ever so slightly inside the line like this so obviously when you stick it down underneath it's not gonna be poking out at all I mean there's so many different methods for doing this I have seen many many different ones I've seen people just like glue this straight down onto something and then cut around like that but I find that too, I don't know, like too dangerous <laughs> sort of thing. Like I would be too worried about cutting the cut file, you know, and especially, I mean, cutting the cut file is not the worst thing in the world. You could just recut it. But if you've already half done the whole thing, that would be really, really upsetting to have to redo the whole thing. So that's why I don't do that method myself. But everyone has their own preferred way of doing it I'm going to move my paper out the way because otherwise I am going to get glue on it and that would be not good I'll choose some papers from here to use as well I feel like this would be a good one um so yes how is everybody's lockdown going um mine has been generally uneventful today I did my first lockdown uh posting for the shop as in physical putting things in the post it was quite a little event so i'm only going posting once a week it's not like i'm getting thousands of orders i had four orders to post and honestly i was surprised that it was that many but yeah what i'm doing is purchasing the postage online and then taking it to a parcel drop-off box so it's basically a post up po normal post box with a bigger hole in it but it does have like a a drawer thing that you have to pull down to put the parcel in and then close it so obviously you're touching a thing that who knows who else has touched so what I did is I got my dad to drive me there so I wouldn't have to be um you know like touching things and then having to get in the car and put my hands all over the car and stuff thankfully that post box is kind of Oh, it's not like the street isn't busy it is a busy street that leads to like the industrial estate or whatever of my town 
but it doesn't get a lot of foot traffic at all so I wasn't too worried about there being people around and there wasn't and so what I did you might let you may laugh at me I I need another color I um got I don't we don't have any gloves disposable gloves so I got like a, a disinfectant wipe in my hand and then used that hand to open the the post thingy got all the parcels in then used the wipe to like wipe down the car door handles that I had touched then put said wipe into a little plastic baggie put that in a bin that was already there then got in the car anti-backed my hands with the gel didn't touch anything until we got home ran inside um, didn't touch anything on my way inside and then immediately wash my hands <laughs> so hopefully that has done the job you would think it would that's quite nice i think i'll use that so yes that was my exciting event for today although i did also wash my hair which was quite a feat i have been quite a disgusting slob for this lockdown i mean i've been hygienic you know i just haven't washed my hair because i have very long well, not very long i have long but very thick hair and it's a mission to wash it so yes it had been I honestly don't know how long it had been, but it was quite disgusting. So I did that today. So self-care has been done. Yay for me. And um, that's about it, really. Oh, I edited and voiceovered a video and got that uploaded. And I edited another video ready for Friday. I just need to do the voiceover for that. Obviously, I made dinner and exciting things like that my goodness i am not very good at multitasking backing a cut file and talking at the same time not good at all i have to admit um i my mind is elsewhere because what time is it it's quite late especially for me and i just kind of want to go back to bed and carry on watching tiger king on netflix because oh my goodness what is that program um no spoilers please in the comments because I will not have finished it by the time this video comes out so yeah please don't spoil anything I'm about halfway through episode three at the moment and I'm already just what is this just what so let me know if you've watched it or how are, are watching it but as I said no spoilers please I'll be very 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 upset I am, I just, I hate people who post spoilers on the internet. I've said before, they should be hung, drawn and quartered. I just, I hate it because, I mean, there's no point to it. All you're doing is kind of ruining something for someone else. That just, that just really upsets me. That sort of attitude, if you know what I mean. I feel like once I've done this one, I need some slightly stronger colours on these butterflies because I'm using very muted colours at the moment and I'm not anything that's actually with this collection so hopefully it doesn't look too dodgy the way I've done it so far um, and as I said please don't worry I am not going to do this whole thing talking to you guys because <laughs> yeah this is a good 40 minutes to an hour of work right here but yeah I need a brighter colour see I used that before and it didn't really pan out but we will try again and see what happens I think if I use that on the bigger ones, it might look better, potentially. Yeah, I think it will. Oh, that's cute there. I like that little colour combo. Very cute. So I wanted to have a rant about something because I saw something today that irked me. It really grated on me, was really grinded my, grinded, ground my gears and all that sort of thing. It just, yeah, like I said. Um, basically, on Facebook, um, in all the Facebook groups and everything, all the crafty ones, I'm in quite a few. I don't really post in them, but I'm in quite a few. Um, people have been posting more projects as of late because people are doing more, more crafting at the moment. And someone posted something, just a nice, I think it was a scrapbook layout, but I could be wrong. I genuinely don't remember. Um, and someone put as a comment basically that they didn't like it and it was like and that person then they were questioned 
and their argument was, well, they've put it on Facebook, so I get to say what I want because they've put it on Facebook open for criticism. And it was like, um, and then when they were questioned again, they were like, oh, free speech exists, by the way. And like, um, actually, free speech was kind of cr created or made law for the purpose of being able to share their political views and for you know purposes like that free speeches was not create free speech sorry was not created for you to be a nasty person on the internet and i just i don't get it and people have the same views on people sharing stuff on youtube like you've shared it therefore i have the right to be critical and say mean things and stuff and i'm not talking about constructive criticism here although personally I think if you post something in a Facebook group unless you've asked for constructive criticism then don't give someone a constructive criticism unless they've asked for it on a Facebook group my personal view but um yeah where was I yes um people just thinking they have the right to have this strong opinion on someone else's creativity just because that person has shared it on the internet they've shared it on the internet to you know, inspire others and, you know, just share their creativity and stuff. And I just, I don't understand this mindset of, well, you shared it and I have my right to not like it. Like, yes, you do have a right to not like it, but you don't have a right to be a nasty person. Just if you don't like it, move on. I can't, that's what it is. I don't understand why people can't just move on. Anyways, I didn't get involved because I try not to argue on the internet as a point of principle because it's just it's, when it, when it can be avoided it's best to avoid it but I just woman made me really really angry like her attitude of well she shared it on Facebook therefore I get to say that I don't like it no you don't then no that's not no it's not how it works and as I said that's not how free speech works you have your right to an opinion but you don't have a right to be a four letter word you know what i mean anyway that was just a thing i thought i would have a little rant about because it really really annoyed me when i saw that earlier and i felt really sorry for that person so i made sure to like the post <laughs> so on the off chance you're in any of the same groups as me you may have seen it you may know exactly what i'm talking about but yeah it's like the whole thumbs down thing on youtube i mean i event i got to the point i hid my thumbs down thing um there was two reasons for that um one reason was because i had a troll who was making efforts to put a thumbs down on every single one of my videos to the point it actually got quite funny like none of my videos would have a thumbs down and then they'd all get one within like a three minute gap and it almost always happened on a sunday evening so i feel like that was their time when they were just like I'm gonna sit down and thumbs down all these videos. Like, oh my goodness, get a life. But that wasn't actually the main reason I hid them on my channel. It was actually more to do with me because I became kind of obsessed in an unhealthy way of like constant, after I uploaded a video, I would constantly check it to see how many thumbs up and thumbs downs it had like it just I was checking it so much to the point that like it was getting unhealthy so that's actually the main reason I got rid of it in case you're wondering it wasn't because of the trolls because I got to the point where I was just finding that funny but yeah I was just obsessively checking like does it have more likes than the previous video did or does it have fewer what have I done wrong etc etc and obviously I can still see that information but I have to like log into YouTube studio and stuff to find it I can't just quickly check on my phone but back to the the main point about it it's it's that same thing of people being like i have a right to say what i don't like and blah 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 blah, blah. it doesn't matter if it hurts someone's feelings it doesn't matter how it affects someone else my right to be a grumpy blank head is is more important so yes i never thumbs down a video ever even if i genuinely like think it's not a very good project or i haven't enjoyed the video i just move on and if something comes up in my recommendations that i don't like i don't then click on it and click the thumbs down i click the little three dots and say i'm not interested in this video 
Isn't that a much nicer thing to do? Anyways, I could rant for a very long time on the topic. And I know when you start, you will inevitably annoy people who are just so obsessed with their right to thumbs downs that it, there will be thumbs downs on this video because of that. But ah oh well, I don't particularly care. And the thing is as well with you, the way YouTube analytics work is if you really dislike someone, the worst thing you can do is not interact with their video at all. Don't thumbs up, don't thumbs down, don't comment, don't do anything. Even a thumbs down is actually good for my analytics and reaching people and stuff. So just saying, if you really dislike me, the worst thing you can do is nothing. So there we go. I think that's about it's about time I ended that particular rant. I'm just going to check this. Come back up against this just to make sure I'm on the right track with the colouring and stuff. Oh yeah, that is pretty actually. I am enjoying that colouring. Where are my photos? Seriously, where are my photos? Where have they gone? They've completely disappeared. Ah, yeah, here they are. Obviously, I'm not going to keep them together like this. I'm just holding them up here for colour reasons. So um, I'll put those there and then I can talk about the photos to you and why I am scrapbooking two seemingly identical pictures of butterflies. So this was on my Instagram recently. So if you follow me there and you've seen my stories, you may know what I'm talking about. But if not, what paper do I want to use? I might use this other side, have a bit of the red. Let's do that. Um, basically, so this picture here on the left was taken on the 29th of March 2019, last year. And I was just, I just happened to be in this room in the house, which isn't a frequently visited room, um, kind of like an out room, if you know what I mean, that leads out onto the, onto the patio. And uh, there was this butterfly, peacock butterfly, just in the door on the inside. And I was like, oh my goodness, butterfly. What do I do? And obviously I was concerned that my cat would find and eat the lovely butterfly and we can't have that happen. So I had to rescue it. So we got like a net that we used for rock pooling when I was a kid and rescued the butterfly and it flapped happily off into the sky. And I took pictures obviously because it was quite a cute, memorable and slightly strange thing that there was a butterfly indoors and yeah put it on Instagram as you do and that was the end of it until the other day when I happened to be walking past that exact same window it's actually a French door but whatever walking past that exact same place and I saw a butterfly flapping around and I was like am I having deja vu what's going on here the same species of butterfly peacock butterfly in exactly the same spot like the same pane of the window at the bottom was flapping around and I was like, no, no, surely not. It was almost exactly a year. This happened on the 22nd of this month. So a week, 51 weeks, if you like, almost exactly a year. I just, I couldn't believe it. I was like, how, how is this even possible? What is happening in my life? So yeah, I just found it incredible. Obviously took a picture, not as good a picture because it kept closing its wings. You know, it wasn't, it kept, it only had them out for a little bit so I had to quickly snap one while its wings were open but yeah um did the same thing grabbed a found that net from my childhood from rock pooling got the butterfly outside it flapped happily off and in but I just I couldn't believe that that happened and it was like it's, this is one of those things where people are going to think I am lying and just posting the same picture I took a year ago from a different angle or something like that but honestly I just yeah it happened and I thought it was scrapbook worthy because it's a bit of a weird thing to happen um, and as this collection is all kind of spring themed that's why I chose these collections to use so that is the story behind my butterflies you may if you don't want to believe me that's fine um, I am one of those people like I feel like I should attach a GoPro to my head sometimes because I see some weird stuff especially out in my garden and then I like tell people about it and it always happens in a moment where 
apart from this obviously where I don't have my phone handy or I don't get it out quick enough to take a picture or a video to prove what happened I'll give you an example one time okay I first, uh, can't even remember why I was in the room but I had to go into another room in the house just to grab something from that room and because I was only going to be in there for a second I didn't have my phone on me and I just so happened to look out of the window when I was in said room this room overlooks the back garden and on top of our shed I noticed a fox and a cat not my cat another cat on top of the shed playing together like not fighting but just like playing like kittens do a fox and a domestic cat and again I did like a little double take of wait what just happened and I'm like there's a fox and a cat playing together on this shed and of course I don't have my phone on me it's in the other room and I was like if I leave to go get my phone they'll disappear so do I just do I risk going to get my phone or do I just stay here and enjoy what I am witnessing and I decided to stay and it only lasted a few more minutes anyway and they walked off together I might add they just went off together and I went out of sight but I told people and they were like yeah 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 sure that never happened I'm like it did happen I just didn't have my phone <laughs> and of course some people are like Grace when do you not have your phone you always have your phone I'm like just this one occasion I didn't have my phone <gasps> oh it was the most frustrating thing ever I'm trying to think of another example of weird things I have seen I'm often I often see the squirrels in the garden up to all sorts of shenanigans but they're usually too fast to take a picture of so that happens too I've seen a squirrel catch a mouse and carry it off didn't have was too quick to get my phone um two squirrels chasing each other and then one like ran I was outside and it like ran to me and used me as protection against the other squirrel and then the other squirrel ran away and then so did the one that ran to me um oh that's not that's I'd already cut that bit oh 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 that's gone wrong um yeah there was that incident I saw squirrels having fun they were climbing to like the top of the roof of the shed climbing to the top and then rolling down like kids would roll down a hill <laughs> that's that's the, that's amazing but again i didn't have oh i actually i think that incident it was like close-ish to twilight sort of time so you know what it's like when you try and take a picture of something that's far ish away on your phone and you just can't get it it's like when you try and take if there's like a really amazing big moon one night and you try and take a picture on your phone it's just like yeah no, just a tiny little white blob in a sea of black when you take the picture, that sort of thing. So, yes, I could probably think of all sorts of other incidents like that if I stopped and think about it. But think about it. Great grandma, Grace, thought about it. But those are the incidents that spring to mind. The weird things I see that are kind of unbelievable, but I honestly, they genuinely happened such as the reoccurring peacock butterfly. I mean, I could probably prove it somehow if I had to by like the dates of the when the picture was taken, like look at the metadata of the picture or something like that, but I don't know how to do that sort of thing, so eh. The other thing is I am shockingly awful liar. I'm really bad at lying. I can't even prank people because I just giggle. I'm just going <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm a bad liar. So if I was making up these stories, you would like genuinely know because I'd be giggling away to myself. Because as I said, I can't lie. These really little butterflies are a pain in the behind to do. They really are. I kind of hate them, but I'll love it when it's complete. The scrapbook layouts that I've done that have taken the longest times when I've done loads of cut file backing and fussy cutting and I need to sneeze Ugh, stupid allergies and stitching usually one of the things that takes the longest they're always my favorite layouts in the end because you've put just so much work into them that you're just like yeah 
that was worth it. I really like that layout. You can see how much time and effort was put into them. Anyways, so I think you have seen quite enough of me backing cut files for now. So I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and come back to you when, when they're done. It might be tomorrow actually, because it's getting on and I need to take my tablet soon. But yes, I will catch you at some point. Right, hello, I am back. It is a Tuesday afternoon. This is the one I was using. Yes, yes, I'm sure it is. I finished backing my cut files. Did only a little bit of it last night and then um, finished it off this morning. I've also fussy cut a few itty bitty butterflies, some from Vintage Botanicals and some from Garden District. And um, I had to do a little bit of tidying up because some of my backing was not... Not very good, shall we say, but it's fine. It's I'll cover up the ones that are really, really messy. So yeah, it's now pretty much time to start uh, putting things together. I haven't decided on the layout of this layout at all, but I will start by just getting rid whoops, of the branding strip. I really need to put a new blade in this trimmer. Actually, it's kind of cutting not that finally as it were leaving a slightly messy line but yeah it's fine I think I've got a spare one I hope I've got a spare one because it would certainly not be considered a priority delivery on Amazon's list and I'd have to wait a month for it not that I'm complaining I'm just saying that that's that's just a fact um I think I've got a spare blade though I might I kind of I don't want these cut files just to do them opposite like that or well, maybe I do. Let's divide the photos first so I really know what I'm working with here. Get a good idea to make sure I have the right one. The close-up one I know is last year's one. I know I want to put like a tab on each photo so it like says the date. And this is one of those layouts as well where I feel like I need to add a little bit of journaling to explain the photos so at first glance you may think oh it's just the same thing at a different angle not two completely different years that kind of works actually just have them opposite like that but at the same time it's just not really me I think it's a bit it's not I don't know it's a bit clean I suppose for my style I'm more of a messy crafter I really like this facing the other way I don't know I feel like I kind of want to put them at slightly more jaunty angles make it a little bit more interesting maybe have them overlap slightly put them back around this way and I can't pick them up long nails sometimes are not very handy for scrapbooking sometimes they are very handy sometimes not so how am I gonna have these I kind of don't want to do them in a way where I have to cut them off because I spent so flipping long backing them well, that's quite nice at that sort of angle have one up here and one down here maybe or would they look better closer together oh that's my phone apologies for that I should take it off vibrate I quite like that actually but I'm not sure about this sort of tangle of things down here, maybe if I adjust ever so slightly. Yeah, I quite like that. Actually, that layout's quite nice. I just, yeah, I just prefer it to just like making a mirror effect or opposite effect or something. So I'm gonna stick these down while I remember which one is on top of which, that one. Hopefully I remember to put them down in roughly the same place. What I'll do actually is make a little mark with a pencil with with a pencil to kind of show where they should start and end so if i just make a little bit of mark there then i'll know where to lay them down floop like that bloop 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 oh speaking of nails shona if you're watching hi shona said one of the things i should talk about was my lovely nail polish <laughs> bless you I don't know if you specifically mean the one I'm wearing now which is peeling horrifically um you know when they start to peel at the at the bottom and like you catch things in them especially hair like you put your hair up and hair gets caught underneath they're peeling um I meant to go and look at what this nail polish was called to tell you 
but I forgot. It's blue sky. Pretty much, I do gel nails at home and pretty much everything I own is blue sky polishes. Apart from my top and base coats, I use uh, Miley because it turns out I am slightly allergic to the blue sky top and base coats. I was doing my gel nails and they would, like after doing them, I'd get so itchy like just around the fingernail just my fingers would be unbearably itchy and I was just kind of researching I bought a new lamp I think I, I got one that was LED only rather than UV because people said that can help and that didn't help the situation so I started researching and a lot of people were saying it happened to them when they used blue sky top and base coats so I thought I'd try a different one and I bought Miley and that has been working fine no more no more itches which is good the only thing is it doesn't last as long as the blue sky it starts peeling a lot quicker but in the grand scheme of things i'd rather have to do my nails more often than have them start to fall off or something because i keep using something i'm allergic to so yeah i do need to i'm going to do them once i finish this actually because the peeling is becoming quite our problem right kind of did i have that more of an angle ah it's roughly right roughly close enough a little bit of glue sticking out in places just tidy that up i'll snip off that little excess bit when the time comes oh my goodness look at all this glue that's coming out Urgh. yeah sticky sticky yucky Blah, ah, ah. do not like sticky tacky stuff on my hands I used to be really against having anything on my hands, gesso, paint, whatever, but I've got a lot better. But sticky stuff, still an issue. Maybe, oh actually, I think having one here and one down a bit, one in that little gap, kind of there, and one down here. Mm, mm, maybe not, I don't like that so much. I don't know if I like them next to each other. I just can't decide. I do, do need to trim them down a little bit. I think I'm gonna keep a little bit of white edge just to help them stand out a little bit. And it also kind of matches the white that's on the cut file. But I'm just gonna trim it a little bit, especially where I've cut them ever so slightly wonky. That one's not very straight. There we go. Oh, there's some atrocious cutting on that one if you look very closely that I don't know if I'll be able to fix. But we'll cover it up with an embellishment and that will solve the problem. Right, they're slightly, they are actually slightly differently sized photos, but I think they're close enough. Right, what do I want now? Let's start getting embellishments out and together. I did think, I kind of want to call this butterflyception because it's, kind of what happened but it's not a very pretty title so I thought I might use some small alphas to write that out and then have something um bigger like this thing that says beauty that's kind of like as a a distraction false title or something like that right what I need to do is back these back these blah 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 pictures that's what I need to do what papers shall I use? I've already cut into this one, so this one rah, might be good, especially in that pink zone, but I really want to use that for something else, like an art journal thing. Oh, sigh, I do not know. There's this one, which I've used for backing some of the cut file. No, I don't like that. That doesn't work. That's just, it's the wrong colour. I can't explain why. It just is. What's on the other side of this one? Maybe use the pink? Mm, no, I think that original one I picked up really is the best option, actually. Oh, now I'm mixing up my garden district and vintage botanicals. Um, maybe some of the cutter parts? No, 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 no. No, I don't think so. What's this one? I don't think I'm going to use that as the background for the layout. No, I think that original one I picked up is really the best Thing to use. Oh, it is from Garden District, that one. I'm getting my collections confused. See if there's anything in here. 
thing is with this six by six, six by eight paper pad, sorry, is there's a lot of ones like this that are like a big whole image. So I don't really want to cut into them, which is ridiculous really, because it's just paper, but I don't know. No, it's gonna have to be this one. It really is, I think, the best one that I've tried so far. Oh, right, now I get to argue with my double-sided tape again. Hooray, my favorite thing to do. Okay, let's find the end. I may actually just do this off screen because it is gonna take me a while to argue with this double-sided tape. So I'll come back to you when I've backed these pictures. Okay, I am done arguing with double-sided tape. So in my last real-time video, I asked people to share their like, their lockdown stories. What's what's going on with you? How is it going? What are you doing? How are you finding it? Or are you a key worker and working? Just love hearing everybody's stories. It kind of helps the whole we're all in this together mindset because you know it helps remind you that it's not just your friends and family and your Facebook friends and the people you have contact with it's just it's so many of us around the world going through the same thing at the same time and it's just it's just nice to hear from people and like people in the US I found because with the US being such an enormous country and you have all the different states and all the states have different laws and stuff when you hear about American news, you often kind of get more of a generalization, at least in this country, I don't know about anyone else. Like if any, something specific happens in a state, you'll hear about it. But generally speaking, you kind of get an overview, but you've got all these different states that have their own laws and some states are on lockdown or shelter in place orders and stuff. So it is quite interesting to hear from people from like different states and different countries as well. But that's not to say I don't enjoy hearing from everyone in the UK. Of course I do. I am just going to add some bundled sage around my photo backing just for an extra little pop of colour. And there's a little bit of green in the backing, the cut file backing. So it's not like I'm just bringing in a new totally random colour. Actually, it goes really nicely. Look at that with that little piece there that's perfect well done grace that was totally on purpose i definitely saw that beforehand that absolutely happened <laughs> now do we think i should lift these up a little bit on some foam just raise them up a smidgy bit i think yes and yeah i pretty much do that with every single project but when you find something that works, keep going. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's my opinion on the matter, as it were. I suppose sometimes when you're a, a crafty YouTuber, a scrapbooky YouTuber, you do feel a bit of pressure sometimes to make things different. So like every time I put Nouveau drops at, on at the end of a layout, that I'm filming I just I'm thinking at the time oh you know I do this all the time people must be so sick of it and then I just remember really I, I can't make layouts just for YouTube you know it is it's not my job it's not my career if it was then I'd be more inclined to do so but it's not so yeah at the end of the day I've got to make layouts for me and then I just so happen to film them and share them with the world. I do like these raised. Right, final moment of deciding where these are going. Yeah, no, I am happy with that original positioning. I want to see the butterflies between the two. Not on there. That one. There. There we go. I'm happy with that. Go. I did think if I was going to lie them flat, you know, without foam, I could put some butterflies, like lift the cut file up and put them over. But yeah. Right, what I also was going to do is use some of these guys and put them on top of some of the other butterflies just as extra something or other. So I need my little blue dots. Those are the little ones, not the big ones. I buy my little ones from Wilco and my big ones from Poundland. Ah! So let's just, I think that one goes there quite well. Oh, that goes there quite well. I do like that, adding the... And you can kind of see the colour behind it as well. It would be really, I'm just kind of saying, you might be thinking, what, after you've backed that cut file, why are you then covering that up with a butterfly? But trust me, if I hadn't backed it, you would really, really be able to notice that it hadn't been backed, if that makes sense. Right. This one. So these ones 
with that are like the more pointy shaped butterflies and the slightly more sort of toned down vintagey colours are from Vintage Botanicals and these rounder ones in the pastely orange, red and yellow tones, those are from the Garden District. I don't know if I want to put a butterfly on every butterfly. I might start off with just doing it every few and then just seeing how it goes. Um, I am concerned to tell you what about running out of glue dots because I did not stock up at all. Um, I, you know, I didn't know this was coming. None of us did. So I do, however, have a lot, a lot, a lot of double sided tape, which is good. If you can hear some very quiet coughing in the background, that is my mum. Please do not panic. She has had a chronic cough for years um so it is nothing to be concerned about uh, and it's nothing to be concerned about in general she's had all sorts of tests uh, you know all clear on all the scary things it's just one of those things chronic cough things that quite a few people get um but yeah the excess coughing is not you know what if you know what I mean she, she was in the garden the other day coughing and I was like you are gonna make the neighbors very very worried <laughs> if they can hear that coughing bless her but yeah just I she was just I just heard her having a fit coughing fit downstairs and thought oh if someone can hear that they may get worried but yeah it's fine it's nothing to be concerned about it's kind of like me and my allergies at this time I have a sore throat and I'm sneezing and I'm my skin is itchy quite frankly but again it's allergies do not worry please ah no ah oh no come back Whew. um put that one there is anyone else's hands turning in a bit reptilian with all this excess hand washing I mean obviously I wash my hands anyway like a normal person but the excess hand washing I mean, I keep putting lots of moisturiser on, but still my head's so dry. My mum is using coconut oil to help um, and was trying to encourage me to do the same, but I just, I can't do it. I absolutely can't do it. I despise coconut. I, I It makes me want to vom. I really, I cannot handle coconut. The smell of it, the taste of it, I really, really hate it. So if I have it on my hands, and just can smell my hands or then if I like eat something and it's on my hands I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna gag coconut really is my thing that I mm -mm, mm -mm, nope cannot absolutely disgusting I mean it's a pain because I can't eat a lot of foods that I would like to like like say Thai food a lot of Thai food is full of coconuts I can't really eat that but anyway how did I talk about coconuts oh yeah keeping skin moist if anyone has any tips on helping the dryness that doesn't involve coconut oil. I would love to hear it because my Nivea cream and Dove hand cream and all that, all the bajillions of different types of hand cream I have, I'm quite a big fan of hand cream. Um, yeah, none of them are getting really the job done. I mean, obviously I'd rather have dry hands than get anything else, but they are starting to sort of feel a bit quite gross feel a bit quite gross excellent grammar as per usual grace right where should i put these ones how many have i got left oh just two these are all like folded butterflies so i can't use those i mean i can always cut one or two more i feel like i need a yellow one up top somewhere so i'm going to put that in the middle and then where can i add one extra one I think I'm going to put it over here. Oh, I can't really put it there. It's too, it's too big for that one. Where should I? I might actually. I'm going to put it slightly underneath. Excuse me. And put it there. There we go. I'm happy with that amount of butterflies, though. I wish I had more of this bigger one. Just one more. Do I have a whole one I can cut? This is from the 6x6 paper pad, by the way. 6x8, sorry, paper pad from Vintage Botanicals, which is why it's nice and small. <laughs> I feel like I want to put that there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut it. Do, 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 do. Oh, try not to cut in 
to the butterfly, Grace? Oh dear. So, do let me know, as I said before, about your lockdown life and how it's going and your general COVID-19 life. What, what are you doing? Are you working? And all that sort of thing. I just love hearing from people. Um, oh, and also let me know, do you want me to just stick with real-time scrapbooking or would you like to also see real-time other things like art journaling, junk journaling, card making, etc, etc. I do have a bunch of cards I need to make, which I'm going to start tonight. Um, I want to make uh, thank you cards for people who have been bringing us food, bless them, um, family and friends. And um, someone has asked me to make a, a wedding anniversary card as well for someone else. So I have at least four cards to make. I might film it and then if you all go, ugh, no, I don't want to see card making, then I'll just delete the footage. Oh, I do like that with the butterflies on top of the other butterflies. I think that is really pretty. Very happy with that decision. But then also leaving some of them blank as well. I don't know, I feel like it gives the whole thing a bit of movement if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I want to find some tabs or tags to write the date on these things. I need the sticker sheet. Here we go. I thought there were some tabs on here, but there's like these ones. Well, I can just cut off what's on the bottom of each one. Let's see if there's any in the sticker book. There usually is. Dun, 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 dun. What page? I could have sworn there were some tabs in this collection. There's those little labels. I suppose oh, I could put the label on each. Hmm. Okay, let's just. Do I want to have a little tab sticking up or do I want a label over the top? Ooh. Label over the top, I'm going for. Can't explain why, that's just what I'm going for. So, roll a date stamp. I've got to make sure I put the right year in each one. So, 22nd of March 2019. And what am I going to stamp in? I think the Dove Grey, if I can get hold of it. It's buried under a load of papers at the moment. Yeah, I think that's the right colour to use. Right. Oh no, the 2019 is the 29th. No, 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 no. Almost completely messed up. Try again. Right, 29th of March. What colour? This colour. 29th of March. And then at 20... Doop, 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 doop. 2nd, 20... 20... How far does this stamp go up? How long have I got... I'll look at that later I won't bore you with that now just you know a thought suddenly occurred to me how long I've got this stamp to use for okay so I've got that color on there I think I'm gonna go for pink with the other one why is that blue what it must have been left over from before oh well you can't it's not that noticeable you will only notice it because I pointed it out I'm sure okay right let's put that one there and this one there I feel like I might actually not need the journaling because putting the dates on each picture kind of tells you the story that happened in March 2019 and that happened in March 2020 sort of I don't know we'll think about journaling when the time comes I want some alpha stickers to write out butterflyception. I think the alpha stickers in here are too big though. So, yeah, they are. Let us go find some more. Right, I'm gonna go with these ones, which I believe are from Hobbycraft um, a long time ago. Oh my goodness, I didn't turn my phone off, that's my bad. Oh, I've got an order in my Etsy shop. Oh, I can't resist, I have to look and see what it is. It is a kit and a load of stickers, so cutting those stickers will keep me busy tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I'll do them tomorrow. I have to do them like in the morning when the light is good. Okay, how, how much do we estimate room these are going to take up? 
B U T T. Yeah, butterfly is nine letters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is that long. Roughly. And then also perception, but we'll do it one at a time. I'm putting the double sided tape down because it is easier, the thin double sided tape that is, because it is easier than having to glue every separate letter and these stickers do not last without a bit of glue so that is why I'm doing that it just makes life so much easier B U T I don't need T's unless I've already used a load I must have B U T T <laughs> Oh dear, we'll be here for a while. E, come here. No, don't stay joined to your friend. Thank you. What? I'm not talking about anything else at the moment because for some reason I really need to concentrate when I do words. If I don't concentrate, I'm going to mess them up. Despite having a first class degree in English well, and history, but yeah. And then a lot of my master's degree being about English linguistics, I still make errors like this all the time and forget words and stuff like that. Why? Where do I go? Butterfly? I want a dash and there are no dashes. That's a problem. Maybe I could, if I turn around an eye, yeah, if I turn around an eye and maybe cut off some of it, can I get away with that? Yeah, I think I can get away with that. Let's add more tape. So, Seption, C E P T I O N, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a longer bit. It's about that much tape, roughly. Down there. This tape was from uh, Create and Craft. They sent me a package of stuff to sort of do a review on um, when they did their big anniversary sale or something. And it's such good tape. Like I've been totally hoarding it and trying not to use it because I really, really like it. Um, but that is a ridiculous thing to do. And um they've probably got more that i can order but anyways although saying that i did have a look on their website and couldn't actually find it it came with a kit of other stuff so i just don't know i suppose i could email and say do you remember when i did that thing for you ages and ages ago which you asked like at least 20 other youtubers to do and you sent me this one thing could you tell me where i can get that other one thing i'm sure you totally remember what i'm talking about Yep, all the good letters are rapidly disappearing on it. When did I use so many M's? My goodness, what have I spelled out with this thing? Unless they've all fallen off and they're in the bottom of my letter storage. That's quite likely to. Oh no, not enough tape for the M. I'm just going to do one dot of glue. Oh, that's a bit much. Gross, 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 gross. Uh, what do I need? An N. And it's my last N. Oh my goodness. Seriously, what did I use these for that I use so many N's and M's? It doesn't even make any sense. I'm sure they've just fallen out. That must be what it is. Right, so I've got that title. It's not sticking down very well. I might just plunk that on it. Um, and then I want like a cute title as well. Oh, we've also got some stuff on here. Joy, the best today. Mm, no. Anyone here? Nope. Any this pack dream big nah, we'll use the beauty i think that's a good word for this and i think the pink contrasts nicely against the red butterfly as well plus i haven't used any of my chipboard yet so that is always good to get into it although chipboard always just you know falls out it never stays nicely in the backing for long once you've started using it. Right, where am I gonna put this? Down there, up there. I don't want it too near this. I think I might put it here. I just wanna fit it in between. Do, 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 do. 
Well, it's quite nice to have it actually opposite there and it contrasts nicely against that green. So I'm going to put it down there. And as with everything else, adding extra glue because the adhesive on manufactured things cannot be trusted. Nope. No, it can't. Right. Right. All that's really left to do is add all the pretty things. My favourite part, adding all the pretty things. So we've got ephemera. we got other ephemera. I'm just looking in here. I kind of don't want to add loads and too much because we've got quite a lot going on, but maybe a few little words and stuff around the pictures might be cute. So lovely. Hmm, it would need to be smaller for me to use that. On this day, on this day, oh, I feel like if it had happened on the same day of the year that that would work perfectly, like it had happened the 29th both years or the 22nd both years. No, I'm not feeling any of those. Let's have a look in the sticker book. Oh, some of these are cute. Best day ever, simple life, enjoy life. Nope, hearts, might go back and use some of those. Bit of sweet life, lovely. Oh, some of these might be good. Celebrate a beautiful life. Live for today, the good life, you and me, thankful. I don't know what to use. Not a day to remember. Again, that would be perfect if it happened the same day. <sighs> Stupid, inconsiderate butterflies did not think about my scrapbook layouts at all when they came into my house. Oh, I'm not going to use it, but that is a bird that says Tweet Heart, and I'm going to try and remember to use that because that is brilliant. Let us open some ephemera and see what we can do. I get my ephemera tray out. Ooh, this is very pink. It's a lot pinker than I expected it to be. Dream big. It's all, a lot of the phrases are very, very similar. This is the very best. No, that's not right. I might have to be very minimal embellishments on this one because... Yeah, I'm not really feeling any of these. Some of these flags, the simple life, love, 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 today is the day. <gasps> Spread your wings. Yes, absolutely. Perfect mondo. That's cute. That's really cute, actually. I don't know where I can put that. It needs to be put on this one because that was the one who wasn't opening its wings when I wanted to take a picture. Silly butterfly. Put that down there actually. Spread your wings. Love, love, love it. Um, joyful. No, 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 no. Use your, use your wings. Use them and fly outside. Can't have two things that say wings though, can we? That would be not good, but quite funny at the same time potentially live for today F fly first love yourself maybe just fly if i can let's just whoop spread your wings and fly cute spread your wings and fly ah oh, yes lovely right i think what i will really want now is just flowers and stuff just to make the pictures pop just a little little bit more um what's that doing down there i don't think i tell you what i don't think more butterflies is what we need here i think florals are what we need just a few around the picture where's that other one i was just playing with it has disappeared hello oh there's one well that's quite a big one i might be able to chop that one in half yeah just a few i think around the picture just to help it pop a little bit. Put that one, <laughs> can't pick it up. Put that one there, this one down here maybe. What is that, is that a pumpkin? Oh no, it's a rose, it's just upside down. Oh dear, that might not be the right shape to squeeze into there. Oh actually, maybe. I just don't want to add that little awkward gap yeah, that's good. I'm going to go around the edges as well, though, with the bundled sage. 
<laughs> I, oh, I've got my little pickup tool thing. That sometimes works on ephemera. Hey, pretty. Love florals and butterflies. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, and then you. Oh, it worked. Ah! And I just get a big splodge of ink on my layout that I've been spending hours on. That would be great. That has happened to me actually quite a few times before. You just cover it up with something. Not a problem. I am definitely going to do splatters on this layout though. I am telling you that right now. Splatters on this layout is absolutely happening. It's a very splattery kind of layout. Look at that one. Yeah, I'm still wondering if I should add journaling. Like maybe just loose on the page, like not on a journaling spot or something down there oh I haven't stuck down those words either I should do that too I'll do that while I remember I'm going around the edges as well kind of doing that very 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 delicately phew I just so happened to think to myself I better look at how much footage I've recorded because my old iPhone that I record on can only do about 40 minutes at once and I looked and it was 43 and I was like hoo, 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 hoo. almost so you might have missed some more deep meaningful utterly profound things that I might have said and wouldn't that be absolutely tragic right spread your wings and fly that's so cute I love that um I still want more flowers yes yes I do what's in here are there any little ones in here I kind of want itty bitty ones let's go back to this decay book I'm sure there were some flowers in here there we go just want some little little cute somethings to stick out a little bit more like that again I'm gonna go around the edges just around the edges that are actually gonna be seen and a little bit of glue because I've just de-stickied it with my fingers by touching it. How was that going? Oh, like that. Perfecto. And then, are there other ones as well? Or is the other ones just butterflies? Don't really want any more butterflies. Maybe a little suckle? Maybe? Okay, I've decided there's not enough flowers in this particular book, but it's fine. I'll get over it. Um, I wasn't, I just want something here, right there. And that's kind of, oh, well, let's see if we can make it work. Yep, we can make that work, cute enough. Do, 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 do. So I may have to mark this video as an ad because everything, pretty much all my Simple Story stuff I purchase or have purchased from the organized hedgehog and I am on her PR team and I do have a discount code as well which will be in the description box um, and as I keep saying supporting small business at the moment is super important um, but this is not just because I'm PR team that I'm saying buy from the organized hedgehog it's also because I mean I've been buying from her for years always getting my simple story stuff from her because I genuinely think firstly like her dispatch times are super quick she packages everything beautifully um and her prices as well as far as i know they're the best in the uk for simple stories stuff and i don't know maybe ireland as well i know she's based in northern ireland and perhaps other places in europe too i don't know but yeah just such a great little shop i love love it okay teensy weensy bit of journaling do it down here or underneath the butterfly section title i think underneath the title actually i just need to figure out what i want to say um put i cannot talk and write i just can't so i'm going to write this and come back okay That'll do. I've written the same place exactly, almost exactly a year to the day apart, the same species of butterfly on the bottom panel of the French doors in the flat, both safely caught and let outside in brackets. What are the odds? In case you're wondering, as a fountain pen, because some of you know me to be a fountain pen nerd, why I don't use them on layouts is that scrapbook paper is not generally fountain pen friendly at all. It bleeds and feathers all over the place and it looks terrible. So 
that is why I do not use that. What am I going to splatter? I'm going to cover up the butterflies first so they don't get splattered upon. I've just realised I just had all of these two by two bits that I could have either fussy cut or used and had phrases on, but never mind, we'll use them in another project. Right, I'll cover these guys up. Right, cut and find a colour. Okay, I am going with Distress Oxide Spun Sugar and Heidi Swap Gold because obviously you have to have gold splatters because they're so pretty. Just don't want to completely overdo it, which is what I often do with... Oh, look, how pretty does that colour look with that title? So very pretty. Um, What was I saying? Yeah, I often overdo splatters and I am trying not to do that as much. I just want to have some in that little gap between the two photos as well. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, that'll do. And then a bit of gold. We'll just check the bottom to make sure all like the mica has mixed in. Okay. Do, 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 do. Most of it's going on the post-it notes, but never mind. Try not to get too much on the um, writing as well, so any words or letters get covered up. Like, I don't mind a bit, but you still want to be able to read it, if you know what I mean. All right, I've got some in the middle, and I just want to make sure some get to the edges as... Well, there we go. Yay, splatters! Right, now we want hoover drops, and I don't actually know what colour I want to use, so I'm going to bring out my big old lot of swatches those ones I know it's appalling but I don't have like the official swatch sheets printed off to use I keep meaning to do it I just haven't got around to it and also like they take obviously a long time to dry so I just you know I need to make sure I've got the surface space to put them all out and stuff right what do we want um, I think this caramel cream colour could work quite nicely. <gasps> oh, actually this soft mint. I don't think I can have both the caramel cream and the soft mint, so I need to make a decision. I think the soft mint. Now I've got to go, right, please excuse the back of my head. Soft mint, there we go. Oh, I'll just better check these ones first, just to see if any of those are right. No. Don't want any of the stone drops, I think. Those are the Dovecraft ones. The coral could look nice, but I do think that mint, just because like it's close enough in colour to some things on the layout, but also a little bit, like it will stand out a little bit. I always do a little test squeeze to make sure it's not blocked. Because the last thing you want is for an explosion to happen on your layout. That would be horrendous. I mean, seriously bad. It hasn't happened to me yet, touch wood. But I have seen it happen to others and it makes you want to cry. Okay, so as I do these final bits, I will start saying my goodbyes, as it were, and my thank you for watching, as I always do. Um, as I said, please chat to me in the comments. Tell me what you're doing, how you're keeping busy, what's going on, where in the world you live. It's really interesting, as I said earlier to find out stuff like that, especially like, cause you're hearing it from someone who actually lives there rather than just stuff on the news as it were. Oh my goodness, my phone, will you be quiet? It's the same two people, by the way, I'm not that popular. It's my best friend and my mum <laughs> just sending me multiple messages. Oh, oh, I am very happy that I chose this mint color. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot to trim that little bit there. I'll do it when it's dry. It is not a problem. Um, one there. I know I always add a huge amount of Nouveau drops, but I just love them. I used to do the same when I used a lot of enamel dots. Speaking of which, I still have many left that I need to use up, but that, that, that's by the by. Yes, as I was saying, goodbye. Chat to me in the comments. I just, as I said, I just love hearing from everybody. Um, let me know about if you want different kinds of real times, like other crafts that I do not just scrapbooking or if you just want scrapbooking that's fine just it would be nice to have 
an idea if I put like the time into editing a real time video if it's something people actually want to see or not. Anyways, I am happy with that, actually. No, I'm not. I want to put one just here, just here. Hang on, bear with, bear with, bear with. Just kind of having them inside and outside of the cup vial just helps all those like little flows, all the spirals stand out a bit better. There we go, okay. No, one in the middle. Oh my goodness, Grace, stop. Okay, and I am stopping now. There we go, there is my layout complete using a mix of Simple Stories, Vintage Garden District and Vintage Botan Botanicals, there we go. Um, as I said, both of which I bought from the Organised Hedgehog discount code in the description box. Um, I don't know if she has much Garden District left and I don't know if she'll have any bot vintage botanicals because it's a year old now, but always worth looking and if there's any of the other Simple Stories collections that you like, as I said, fabulous shop, amazing prices. I would say that even if I wasn't on the PR team. So yes, that is enough for me. I'm gonna go. Thank you again. And yeah, that's it. Nothing else to say. Now going. Thanks so much.